want to pick this game sometimes. Is it okay for me to remember thank you? I'm gonna say thank you. No, that's only natural. I'm sorry for being so upset with you yesterday. Even if you leave me as a result of regaining your memories, I promise I'll do anything I can to make sure there are no difficulties in your life. So don't worry, you can rely on me. Why are you blushing, my boy? <laughs> I think he's, it's a good thing that you're her boyfriend, Kent. I see. Thank you. I need to do my best to live up to those words. <laughs> that music was nice. I should have let it play a little bit longer, but I was like, mm, I want to play more. So, yeah. We're here, but you pretty used to coming over to Kent's house now. Boop. Hello. Yes, coming. Wait, who's this? Probably his mom. Oh my, who are you? So this be Kent's mom. Ah, uh, nobody's ever home, so this is the first time we're meeting anyone else here. Mother, she's someone I know. Okay, I didn't know you were coming. To answer the door. She's my guest, more importantly. Don't you have a cold? Why did you get up? <laughs> Flurry, you too. Are you feeling okay already? You don't have to force yourself to visit. Oh my, and how kind. Is she your girlfriend? Mother, just return to bed. Am I right? Well, yes. Oh dear, you never told me you had a girlfriend before. Why didn't you say anything? You should introduce us. We are not at the stage where I need to introduce her to my parents yet. You should stay over for dinner tonight and not tell my husband to come home early too. Mother, she's only just re recovered and you took some time off for work too. You should just go back to bed. I'm fine now, so is that okay with you? I want to tell her to rest. But I don't want to tell her yes all at once. Let's see. Um, I want to say yes. I want to meet his parents. Fuck it. Sorry about this, Flurry. If you don't feel well at any point, feel free to go back home. Yeah, just don't push yourself. Mother, you're the one who's pushing herself. But it's rare for me to have time off work like this. You'll be going to a board soon, and you might not have many more chances to see her. You should make good use of this opportunity and be efficient to introduce ourselves properly today since we just met. Your father would agree to you. Well, that's true, but... <laughs> this entire family is full of rational thinkers. Regardless, standing around here isn't good for your condition. Come in. Oh, yes, of course. Please come in. I'll make some tea. You should go to bed! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Sorry for the surprise. My mother's really home, but she wasn't feeling well today. She may appear well, but she has a fever of 38. Seriously? Uh, you're likely to know this, but my mother is a lawyer, and my father researches mathematics at a university. They're both vi busy and really at home. In fact, I, before I started dating you, I spent most of my time at the university as well. Now I'm staying at home as often as I can. I just thought that it would be easier to you, for you to visit here. However, it is also true that some work can be done outside of the university. I don't have many days left. I actually was planning to go there this afternoon. I'm sorry, it might be difficult to meet up with you until after the conference is over. Although you probably don't mind, I'm the one who wants to see you. I want to say I'm not me too, but I also want to say do your best. Let's see what he says. Ah, got him. Then I'll call you. How does that sound? Not a bad idea. That reminds me, you two had a little conversation on the phone like a couple would. 
もう一つ伝えておきたいと思います。今日はここまでこさせて。あまり心配しすぎて。あまりボーリングもなんかしないかな。ファンドコンセントルキングラウンドモータイムの側についていて。あまりボーリングもなんかしないかな。ファンドコンセントルキングラウンドモータイムの側についていて。あまりボーリング
Even if you and Kent have a disagreement, I believe it would value, be of value to consider a future with him. While our household may have nothing but real merch to pass down, I can guarantee a chance of having any discomfort in your ex life is extremely low. Oh, also don't worry, we have any intentions of interfering with your time together. Father, mother, those are not kind of, kind of issues she's concerned with. However, it seems the terms are very more important than marriage, although I understand why you're prioritizing emotions over those. We aren't at that stage yet, and this is why I didn't want to introduce you yet. Anyway, you don't have to say anything concerning our dating. I'll handle it myself. I suppose more importantly point for a man to prove it in his qualities. <laughs> Jeez, ums, I feel like he got challenged by his parents in a way. Thanks for having us. Huh, that was a pretty strange dinner. Kent's family is interesting, but they're also kind of weird. Uh, although Kent's the same way. Are you tired? I'm sorry about that sudden change of plans. Let's walk back slowly. Yeah, you're not gonna be Mr. Speedwalker now? Cool. Actually, compared to those parents of his, Ken seems a lot more like a normal human. Are you calling his parents unhuman? There's a part of Ken that doesn't work based off of reasons, and he's got some feelings. Mm, Flurry, do you feel the same way? Before I employed, employed the same reasoning as my parents do. It's natural to select an optional woman for a species preserving on the emotional change known as love that occurs, and that leads to marriage. But ironically, the woman who I favored disliked me. I feel as though I'm... I'm not in control. I keep making mistakes. It may be even my preparations for the most important life-changing event in my academic career. Is this really what my genes are commanding me to do? In that case, my genes are defective. Either that, or I may just want to admit that there's no rational reasoning behind love. It's just as you said. I've been thinking on this a lot lately. Love is irrational. Your jeans aren't. Oh, I don't know what to say to this boy. I'm just gonna say your jeans aren't defective. Are you saying that my jeans really did find their optional partner? And that means that I can't believe that there's a chance of things going well between us? Sorry, you say something like that. I'll start developing expectations. Well, even if our genetics pairing isn't suitable, actually getting that pairing to succeed might actually still be based on the amount of efforts interested. Oh my. Hmm. August 22nd. Why are you bored? Next time we'll have to see you it's probably out of the 25th. Yeah, the big moment, you wouldn't want to miss it. But you told him you wouldn't go outside alone. And the math conference is really something outsiders attend. Hmm, Kent is really busy. I don't want to bother him. Alright, I wonder where it's going. Exchange numbers with Aki before you can miss a chance. Whoa, he's quick at responding. Hi! It's okay, I'm going to be there helping out, so I'll be- make sure you get in. Oh, I should go pick you up from your place while I'm at it. I ran out of water. He's so nice and devoted! This is the kind of breath of fresh air. So it's an awkward, awkward interaction with I'm almost worried about we're being tricked. Anyway, want to ask him? Let's reply. By the way, is this a secret from Ken? I'd be more happy to help to make him jealous. Oh boy. Oh stop, he really he really will get super jealous. Why are you hesitating? Are you really thinking you want him to get jealous? I kinda want him to get jealous. No, that would be inappropriate. 
Honestly, I'm going with no, that would be inappropriate because that is. It seems like Ken is very, very sensitive when it comes to Icky. If you make him jealous, it might just be because Ken uh, turn into a huge ordeal. You don't need to test Ken like that. We were already sure he likes you. What? You won't do it? Then I'll just tell him we'll be going together. Anyway, several little plans from three days from now. This is the issue. What should we do with these three days? Kent was saying he talked to Sao and the others, and I wonder if he told them. Boop. Ah, oh, speaking of which, you're getting a call from her. Oh, hello, it's me. Hey, I heard something really interesting story from Ken. You're going to go into a movie about your college life. What? He, he said to talk to you about any events that may have left an impression. Is that true? I see an autobiography movie. Great idea, Ken. Although he probably just say that it was a, an obvious idea. But it's hard to think of events that left an impression on you. I've been thinking for a, a while about things that happened, but nothing really stands out. Maybe Kent's study group is the biggest impression. Tell us more, it's amazing. It sounds like we'll be able to gather new information from the comfort of home. Let's see. I think it all started when you, mine, and I talked after that one day at work. She said she was going after guys like she casually does, and three of them got carried away. Oh, I remember that day. Saw what mine and I planned out to study group while laughing and walking. Mine went in a different university, but we knew her from work and we'd get along well. Apparently there was really handsome guys at her school and and the plan was to have him teach the study group. But the person who actually taught the class was one of his friends. He was really different, unlike anyone I had met before. I tried to explain he tried to explain everything through reasoning, and it was surprising to me. I really take, was taken aback. I started thinking that I wanted to talk to him more. Mm, excuse me. Right, I was really shocked when I met him on the path through the cemetery. After that, I started talking to Ken every morning. And then, and then what happened? Sorry, that's about all I can remember. I'll call you back if I remember anything. Try talking to mine and Toma uh, and some other people at school. Well, the news that you make your movie is going to spread pretty far. Well, you heard a lot of stories, but your memories haven't came back. Maybe it wasn't enough. Well, I have some. Wait, you remembered something and I didn't see it? I see, then our senses are, complete, are completely connected anymore. That makes sense. Lately, you've been remembering a lot of things, and I'm glad, although it's a little lonely for me. But it seems like you got dizzy. You got a little dizzy and seemed happy from the memory, too. A good ha memory coming back. Oh, I kind of wanted to see you, too. What kind of memory was it like? Could you tell me? Explanation inserted right there with that scene. There you go. August 23rd. Oh, you have a visitor. We'll be right there. Oh, it's Shin Toma. Looks like they came to see you. The, the bros. The bros. Hey. How do you feel? I figured we could talk to you about the movie and visit you at the same time. Wow, the word in the movie really is getting along around. I wonder if they could really just say I quit in the cutest way and get away with it later. You seem to be doing fine. You want to go outside? It doesn't feel right to enter a girl's room. Enter the room of a girl's living alone. 
Are you stupid? We're here to visit her. She can't go outside. She needs rest. You're the idiot, Toma. You worry too much. That was three days ago, wasn't it? She seems to be fine now. It would be better if we walk around a bit. What will you do? Sorry for showing up all of a sudden to tell you this. But don't push yourself. Well, your body is fine already. If it wasn't for the whole thing with Yu-Gi-Oh, we'd love to go out to get some fresh air. But these two are with you. There shouldn't be any problem. Maybe you should talk to him. No. No. Ten minutes later. Huh? Who's that? Sounds suspicious. Oh, oh you never met you here before, Shen. No. Nope, does he visit the cafe a lot? I saw him often until recently. He's got long hair and kind of a whatever type of face, and he really stands out. You'd notice him if you saw him. Never seen him. I don't like this. And he visited on days when Flurry was working. We never... We're never on the same shift. That's probably why I've never seen this guy before. Wait, 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 wait. Brain, click, pause. So, I just can't believe I didn't register this from back the pool. Shin works at the cafe too. Everybody works at the cafe. Let's just throw a cafe party. That might be the case. And he was always late. I should not be thinking about that. No, nope. asking for her to take his orders. Wow, that's scary. He didn't seem like a bad person, though. I wonder what he was doing. What are you talking about? It was def he was definitely targeting you. I don't get your overly trusting, see good in everyone attitude. And, and you doubt everyone too much. Oh, I heard the rumor that the regular customer stopped coming after an issue with the love triangle. Was that the same guy? Oh, that's right. There was a rumor like that. Right now that I think about it, Sawa was all excited about it. But there is no love triangle. None whatsoever. Right, Flurry? I was actually thinking the rumor was kind of credible. What? Why? Oh, I see. The guy looked like he was seriously in love with her. Yes, he did. He always looking over at her. Wait, really? He kind of gazed at her, like, and had this happy yet sad look on his face. I wonder what it was. It's completely... It's a complex expression. It was definitely you look back... You, you have when you're talking to someone about old memories, although I don't know why. Regardless, I seriously think that he was in love. But that doesn't make it a love triangle. She said that too. It would seem so. Sounds like one side. He could have been he could have been a pervert. I agree. But I haven't seen him lately. And I even had a talk with the manager about it. Maybe you change his strategy, you should be careful. Like your boyfriend's boyfriend said. It seems like you really treasure you. That's good. And this is where we're gonna end off the episode. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!